What is good guys, here with Nate, this is Crossbeats Production and thank you for tuning in as per usual. I want to review a plugin that I've been given a code for, that is by Audiofide, uh, it's ToneSpot and it's the Voice Pro, so it's primarily based around for a vocal plugin or a vocal chain effects plugin. Uh, this plugin is quite interesting, I'm going to fiddle with it in just a minute and show you guys what it sounds like, so skip to that if you want to hear that. Uh, audio demo uh, on the vocal that I'm working on. It's actually a vocal that's in a rap sort of scene. So um, it's kind of, I guess this plugin could be used for anything. So speaking, spoken voice, or, you know, a rap vocal in this instance or whatever. So uh, you don't have to use it on a vocal either. It's not limited to just that, um, but it is definitely focused or, you know, the whole thing is just focused around vocals. So let's get into the plugin, have a listen to what it sounds like and work from there. Hope you guys enjoy this. Catch you there. So we're here on the screen with the plugin and uh, this is the layout of the plugin. So as you can see on the screen, it's quite a uh, interesting sort of layout here. Kind of looks crazy if you're not familiar with plugins, but if you kind of know your way around plugins, uh, some of this will look familiar to you. It's got a lot of features there. It has character distortion, saturation, de-essing, shaping, which is like an EQ, uh, two compressors, surgi surgical EQ and effects section as well. And then it's got a final section for the finalizing and um, that all kind of works together as one plugin being able to be used uh, on, you know, instead of putting multiple sort of plugins in your chain of plugins, you can just get this one whopping thing out, <laughs> slap it on there and hope for the best. Um, so first off, for, for the, I guess the review, I want to talk about one thing I analyzed. So behind the scenes, the actual EQ curve, when you introduce the plugin itself, it reduces the, the spectrum down to 20 uh, hertz to 20 thousand kilohertz apart from that let's have a listen to how the plugin sounds we'll use it on this vocal and uh, we'll work from there so first off i'll play the vocal uh, with all the chain of processing on here so this gigantic chain of stuff there i'll just play it all uh, on the on the actual vocal and we'll see what that sounds like first and then we'll take that off put this plugin on and work from there if i listen to what people say i would never walk if i listen to what people say I would never talk If I listen to what people say I would never see If I listen to what people say I would be me If I listen to what people know I would never go If I listen to what people say You would never know Okay, so that's the vocal with the chain that I've currently got on this, this mix. Now I'm gonna throw all of that stuff away um, and we're just gonna put this one plugin on and I'm gonna try and get something similar or at least close to uh, what we just had there uh, because that desired kind of sound that I had is what I'm chasing with this plugin. So first off, it's got an input section here. It's got auto gain. So you've got your auto gain control on the in and the outputs. You can mix wet and dry, so you don't have to have any of it, or you can have some or all of it. Uh, and then obviously your power buttons there and uh, the channels, it's all explained on their video that they have an introductory video, but channels left and right, which is stereo. So that's what I've currently got it in right now, but I actually do want the effects. So I want them in stereo. So I'll put that in stereo and we'll go from there. So first off the character, I'll show you on screen what that looks like while I'm playing with it. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll have a listen to it and see how it sounds. So character on. If I listen to what people say, I would never walk if I listen to what people say. I would never talk if I listen to what people say. I would never see if I listen to what people say. If I listen to what people say, I would never. Not a fan of the scoop. We'll leave that out. Bright is cool. Not the modern or the natural works okay on this. Uh, let's go to the next one. Listen to what people say. I would never walk if I listen to what people say. Um, don't really need distortion too much yet. And the other thing I would like to be able to do with this plugin is to move these around. So kind of like what the Waves plugin does. Uh, there's a couple of plugins that allow you to, to manipulate um, the, the channels or where you want them to go. So if you have distortion at the end or whatever you want to do, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's get into saturation see what that does. Uh, we'll work from there. If I listen to what people say, I would never walk. If I listen to what 
what people say. I would never talk. Interesting. Not really useful on this uh, situation. Let's go for DSing. If I listen to what people say, I would never walk. If I listen to what people say, I would never talk. If I listen to what people say, if I listen to what people say, I would never walk. If I listen to what people say, I would never talk. If I listen to what people say, I would never see. If I listen to what people say, I would be me. If I listen to what people know, I would never go. If I listen to what people say, you would never know. If I listen to what people say, I would never walk. If I listen to what people say, I would never talk. If I listen to what people say, I would never see. If I listen to what people say, I would be me. If I listen to what people know, I would never go. That's pretty cool. I like the way the compressor sounds. It really works. It's pretty working pretty hard too, and it's not distorting much i mean obviously i'm using a bit of parallel compression there so kind of useful to have that uh very interesting let's go for the surgical i don't really think there's too much surgical i want to remove from this but we'll just see what it does if i listen to what people say i would never walk if i listen to what people say i would never talk if i listen to what people say all right let's get rid of some of that 10k not too much if I listen to what people say. That's cool. Um, I'm not going to mess with that too much because it's going to be like, you know, that's your own choice there. If there's something that's really annoying in the in the vocal or whatever you're working on, uh, you may want to remove that surgically. So that's quite a sharp uh, curve. So the Q is quite sharp. So that's high Q. Uh, so Smash, let's have a listen to the Smash compressor. If I listen to what people say, I would never walk. If I listen to what people say, I would never talk If I listen to what people say I would never see That's working. Uh, so two compressors working in line. Good idea. Uh, like I said, it'd be cool to be able to change these around though. That'd be awesome. Uh, let's have a listen to the effects on this. If I listen to what people say I would never walk If I listen to what people say I would never talk if I listen to what people say, I would never see. If I listen to what people say, I would be me. If I listen to what people know, I would never go. If I listen to what people say, you would never know. Hey. If I listen to what people say, I would never walk If I listen to what people say I would never talk If I listen to what people say Okay, so um, this is working out okay. Uh, I feel like, I guess if you were loading it into a vocal and you just wanted to have all the effects in front of you without loading up all of these plugins that I've currently got here, uh, then it would work quite well for your scenario. Um, you know, it's just, it really depends on what you want to do. If you want to sort of save some time, I guess this is what this is really about. This plugin is designed to try and save time, give you all of the facilities in front of you so you can work, tone shape your vocal and go from there. Um, you know, do I like it? I think it's pretty cool. It's not the best plugin out there, but it's definitely not the worst. Um, they really kind of nailed it with all of the different effects they want to have on this plugin. Um, I don't know whether or not it's a compulsory thing to really have it in your mix or not. That's up to you on your mix. Um, but to be honest, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it does what it does well. And um, the DSing and all that sort of stuff works quite well. And it's very natural. Uh, the compressors I really like, they're quite cool as well. And just the different functions. I don't know about the effects section here for the actual delay and reverb. Um, it's not enough there for me to kind of mess with if I was just using it for, you know, for example, on my vocal. 
Uh, I like to have more control over that, but it is there. It's available to you if you want to use it and uh, gives you that facility there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, remember to hit that like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and make your comment down below and let me know what you think about this plugin. If you like it, if you don't, if you've tried it out, if you like any of the other stuff they make, uh, I'd like to hear that down below. And also tell me what you do on your vocals when you mix, because that's really cool to share that with other people here on YouTube. So catch you on the next one. Peace out. Thanks for having me on Zach. 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 Zach.